at the clinic with Dr. Bill on whether or not your horse needs a chiropractor. I'm Dr. Bill Ormston. I'm a veterinarian from Salina, Texas. Uh, my practice is limited to animal chiropractic, uh, predominantly equine uh, anim uh, chiropractic. And uh, today we're here with Trouble. Uh, Trouble won a go around at the NBHA uh, President's Cup last weekend, and he was the second high money earner uh, for the whole weekend. And but we're going to look at him today, and we find out that Trouble has a few problems. Um, few minor problems and I'm going to show you how to find all three of these minor problems and then we'll show you uh, after he adjusts and hopefully next weekend when he goes and runs he won't be the second high money earner maybe we can make him into the top so we're going to do our neck stretches we're going to come over here to the left and we can see that he can come all the way and eat off of this left shoulder he just stays there and eats. notice how I can see this other eye it's looking me in the eye there's no head twist so then when we come over here to the right and we'll turn him so the camera can see it just a little better. Turn him here to the right. He follows the treat. He follows the treat. But he just won't come that last three or four inches. Okay? So that tells me he got a problem here in his lower neck. Then when we turn him sideways, we're going to do what I call some bounce. And at one, one, once you all to watch right here, okay? And when I put energy into the top of his spine up here, the belly down here should bounce. So when I do it here, you can see him bouncing, okay? When I come back here and do it, he bounces. When I come right here, there's no bounce. That means this part of his spine isn't moving correctly. What's that correlate to? If we pretend that this is the spine of the horse, this rope is the spine of the horse, Jody's the head of the horse, I'm the back of the horse, <coughs> when I create energy, that energy travels fluently to the front of the horse. So the energy is generated in the back of the horse, transmitted to the front of the horse. When part of his spine doesn't move, that transmission goes out. Okay? Just like when the transmission in your car goes out, that energy can no longer flow. So we're getting some of that in this horse. Even though he's running well, we're just not getting the transmission that we should. Then let's go ahead and have him walk away from us again. Notice how the right side of his hip pelvis comes up higher than the left side does when he walks away from us. Bring him back and let's do it one more time. We'll go ahead and walk him away again, straight away from the camera. Watch how his, how, his, how his pelvis moves. That right side comes up higher than the left side does. And the right side doesn't really drop below, below neutral either. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and adjust him, and then we'll see if we can fix those things uh, when we look at him after our adjustment. So we went ahead and we adjusted trouble. We worked some on his lower neck, worked some on the middle of his back, and, and worked on his SI joints or sacroiliac joints back here in the back end. So we're going to start out, let's have him walk away from us again here. And we'll notice that that left side is starting to come up a little bit more. The right side isn't coming as high and it's starting to go down below neutral again. Okay. Then as we bring him back here, we'll go ahead and have her stop here in the middle and turn him sideways for us. We'll go set ahead and see if he has any spring in his back or if we got some bounce. Okay, let me move this. Let's try to square him up with the camera a little bit. There we go. All right, so as we bounce him, you can see he's got a nice spring to his back all the way along. He bounces all the way. We come to this problem spot that wasn't bouncing before, and you can see that he's got some really good spring there. Okay, then come back to the neck stretches. Remember that at the very beginning, Trouble had some problems coming over here and eating off his right shoulder. He'd follow the treat almost all the way around, and then we'd lose it. Now he's coming over here. He's eating right here. 
and I can see his eye. So just those few minor adjustments that we made on him has allowed him to move better. Hopefully that will allow him to perform at his best the next time he's asked to, to run a pattern. Remember, if you see any of these problems in your horse, either contact myself or a professional animal chiropractor certified by the AVCA in your area. Thank you.